This was the night before my second show, when I decided to beat the jet lag by staying up drinking all night, enjoying the other shows, and hopefully sleeping until around midday. <laughs> At least that was the plan. Power goes out. Like, literally, power goes out, engines turn off. Everything's fine. The emergency alarm's just gone off. Um, for a evacuation. Hello. This morning was fun. So I'm still not over the jet lag, it's a killer. Um, but I've been going to bed at like nine. I've been going from a meal at around seven and then just being absolutely gone. So last night I thought, it's my final gig tonight, um, my final show. And I decided to do something a bit sneaky, try and get over the jet lag a bit. So decided to go to bed later and then get up later, not set an alarm, just sleep right through, and then hopefully half nine tonight when my show is golden. So I went to bed about midnight, 5.20 this morning. The alarm goes off and everyone's so panicking. I then hear one of the um, cruise directors say evacuation and I'm like, oh God, no. After everything that's happened this, <laughs> not holiday, this work trip, I just thought, oh God, come on, give me a break. I got everything in my camera bag, everything I needed, like passport, flights, everything, cameras, iPad, everything that was essential. And I went up to the deck, no one was there. Like no one, no one went, it was almost like, they were like, is this a drill? Let's just stay in our beds to find out. So I'm just there, st stood for ages, just looking at this lifeboat thinking, so are we, like, are we, do we get on this? How do, do I win, you know, wheel it down? And then eventually I just went back in and um, I spoke to someone and, and they said, What happened? No, oh, the front fell off. Oh, it's all under control. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Go back, wait in, in your cabin until further information. So I got back to my cabin. I rang Charlotte, obviously. I rang Charlotte and just to say, oh, yeah, shit's going down. And... <laughs> And then I said, but don't worry, don't worry. They've told me, they've assured me that everything's fine. They're sorting it, everything's fine. Power goes out, like literally power goes out, engines turn off. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. And I mean, long story short, um, we were supposed to stay in our rooms, but being the Yorkshireman that I am, I thought, I bet no one's at breakfast. So it got to seven o'clock and I thought, let's go. <laughs> Should we just go and see if, see if the uh, breakfast is open? And it was, and there was no one there. Absolute winner. So had my breakfast, came back, and um, yeah, it turns out there was an, a small electrical fire. Um, so my show tonight, I'm starting with, we didn't start the fire, and then Relight my fire Then Come on baby, let my fire And then people will get bored of that So I'll just probably do my normal set But yeah, really fun day Excellent, really enjoyed it Thanks Let's go Here on the island of Fakarava, which sounds quite funny, I'm not gonna lie. And we've rented these bikes. So this is cool. Just look at the colour of that sea. Just seeing this awesome Dalmatian as well. But we're gonna go and see this lighthouse, which uh, looks like some sort of Mayan temple. 
Um, ah, oh, this bike does not have suspension though, and there's, there's lots of uh, speed bumps. So yeah, just cycling the island. There's worse ways to spend a Saturday. It's actually quite nice to be back on a bike though. Usually I'm in uh, Sherwood, Sherwood Forest or something like that, but this one is a bit different. lighthouse. Looks like some sort of Mayan temple, but they look right. I mean, it's so hot. But let's walk to the beach. It looks like there's a bit of a storm over there. So I might head back. Don't fancy being out in a storm on a bicycle. You know in horror movies where you think they see some ominous sign, like some really creepy thing, and you think, why do they not turn back? Why do they not go the other way? Because it's obviously going to be a trap. Well, we found this old abandoned digger. I think you could just go around it. I'm not sure because the water looks a bit grim. In the end, me and Cecile, who is a lecturer on board the ship and all-round legend, decided to save the snorkel in for the next day and hike up a mountain that is genuinely called the Magic Mountain. So, obviously had to climb up that. We spotted a rainbow as we started the hike and then just decided to power up to the top to try and get pictures of the views with the rainbows in. But when you're as unfit as I am and it's a bazillion degrees, it's, uh, it's quite hard. So we finally got to the top of Magic Mountain. I love it, it's called Magic Mountain. And uh, been absolutely greeted by this view. I'm sweaty though, but I noticed the rainbow coming up and we just powered up. Didn't even have time to do any uh, videos, really, of uh, speaking, because I just wanted to get to the top. But look at that. That isn't just begging for a panoramic, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's no Burnley, 